While Patrick Young and Will Yaget have brought fans many smiles with their play on the court, Young and Yaget have been a dynamic duo off the court for one youngster in particular, as we see in this edition of Inside Gator Basketball. The college experience is about a lot of things, including the building of enduring friendships. And that usually means among teammates and classmates. But there's a notable exception for Gator seniors Will Yaget and Patrick Young. It's their little buddy, four-year-old cancer patient, Caden Ballou. When Caden was in the hospital um, one day after his bone marrow transplant, my stepmom saw Will and Pat walking down the hall and she asked them to come into Caden's room. And um, Caden was kind of just laying around. He wasn't feeling really well. But um, when they came in, they sat down on his bed and he just started talking to them right away. Um, it was really cute. Caden was talking about how big his muscles were and that he was stronger than them and that he could beat them up. Well, we both actually met him the same time. Uh, it, we were just going to the hospital for a friend just to visit a bunch of kids that she was doing something special. We were going just through each person's room and we ended up staying in his room for an hour and a half. That was, it was history since then, pretty much. The bond was particularly pronounced between Caden and Will. I had this personal connection with him, so I stayed in touch with him and um, he's just a special kid. I just felt like uh, he, I could, I could, you know, impact him somehow, and he was impacting myself as well. So just pretty much stayed in touch with him, and now he's doing so much better. And uh, it's kind of like, you know, did a, did a kind of little brother, you know. For both Gators, the relationship has given them a whole new perspective on what it means to go through tough times. Well, I can only imagine how many bad days that he's actually going through, you know, therapy and all the medicines that he's had to be injected with. The kid's not even five years old yet, so I. You know, a bad day for me is, is absolutely nothing compared in comparison to, to what he's, he goes through. I think sometimes we believe that we, we go through so much and uh, we, the war is about to end, uh, we tired and uh, we don't want to do this, we do that, but just seeing him, you know, and his family be there every single day with him, knowing that the man even chance was going to survive. And uh, every time I talk to his mom, uh, she's always happy because she's like, you know, the worst is in the past, and just seeing him waking up every single day for me, and it's just a blessing. And the Blue family feels equally blessed. It definitely gives something, Caden, you know, something for Caden to look forward to, um, just to come here. And, um, you know, when he was very ill, we talked about him coming here and getting to see them play and stuff. So it was something, something exciting for him to look forward to when he was healthy. Um, and for me, it's, um, it just means so much to me as a mom to see that he's now healthy enough to do these kind of things. And it means a lot to me, too, that two guys um, that are basketball players just have came into his life and became so close to him. I think it, it, it probably brings a smile to that young man's face every single day. And, you know, what he's going through is not what we have to go through every day as far as being in a close game down the stretch. You know, that guy's dealing with a lot more than we're dealing with with adversity in the games. I mean, he's fighting for his life. And to have two, you know, Florida Gators that he probably looks up to means the world to their family. Yaget and Young are winding down their Gator careers, but their year-long friendship with young Caden Ballou is just getting started. Hopefully. Uh, I mean, if you remember me, I think uh, I'm, with kids like that, you got to do a good job being consistent. And I think I've... I've tried to do a good job, you know, staying in his life, consistently seeing him as much as I can, especially during the season. And I think he knows me, but hopefully as he get older, he'll be like, hey, Willie, I remember Willie when I was, you know, four years old, he did that for me. And there's always pictures, so his mom take a lot of pictures. So I think she's going to keep that for a long time, hopefully. You know, they come in, they'll visit Caden, they'll go to parks and play with him, and, you know, we've eaten ice cream together. Um, you can tell that they really care about Caden, um, that they have a good heart. I think they're going to be both wonderful fathers someday. I'll bring you back in about 30 minutes. Okay. For Inside Gator Basketball, I'm Larry Vitell. Well, just a wonderful story that we're so happy to be able to share with you. Well, the one thing, Mick, about it is, you know, so many people, they look at our team and they watch our guys play and they evaluate or judge, you know, our guys, whether we play good, we play bad or one lost. And, you know, I get all that, but there's so much more to these guys. And that's the one thing I really feel very privileged about is that I could see these guys maturing and growing and really where their hearts are at. And it's not only Patrick and Will, but are really, really our whole team. I'm very, very proud of those guys.